Hi everybody, it's Danielle with Inspire Me to DIY and today I have a really great project. We're going to make greeting cards. I found these paper, let's see if I can get them, blank greeting cards. There's 50 of them with 50 envelopes for $10. So you can make 50 cards. Who, who can buy 50 cards for $10? I have the white and I also have the off-white. I kind of shoved them both in one container. But let me show you what they look like. Here is the card. It's just a piece of cardstock that's folded in half. And then it comes with this cute little envelope. Nothing special, but we're gonna make it really pretty. I bought a ton of flower stamps. It seems like that's all I have when I pulled it up was flower stamps. But, um, and I'll put the link in after my video because I have it all set up to do that. I just couldn't do it while I was doing my live. But I have um, a set of, I think, four of these that I got, and then this nifty little thing here. Let me show you. First of all, let's see. Here's, my, I'm going to pull this off. Here's my stamp we're going to use today. It's a birthday, it says, birthday wishes, you're so wonderful, and hello there at the bottom. But it's roses, and you can see I've used this before. I really like this particular stamp. There you go. You can see that a little bit. Better I'm trying to get it around the ring lights. There, I bought those. I have. Let's see if I can get them to where I have these cute. Um, I don't know what are those like hollyhock type things. I have little daisies. I have all sorts of stuff, and then I have this really cool one here. It's three different squares, and they're all separate. You pull them off, but. I have been really trying to figure out how to get monogrammed napkins without paying $20 a napkin to have it monogrammed. That's what I was quoted. Who can afford, if you have 10 people over, that's $200 just for napkins. So I thought if I took this center square and stamped it on a white napkin and then put a um, my initial in the middle with another stamp, I think that would turn out beautiful and I'm gonna try that. Normally, I'm used to these kind of stamps, and I don't do, this is pretty, isn't it? I don't do well with these kind of stamps, and let me tell you why. When I put the ink on them, I sometimes get the ink along this uh, rubber border, and then that stamps on your paper, and it's not a good look. I don't have much luck with these, and I have a huge box of these. So, these are a game changer, let me tell you. This little little guy here. He has, um, there's a grid pattern on it here and you can't really see it on the camera and then this side's just frosted. But what you do is um, you put your stamp on one side, your paper on the other, and then you close it, push down, stamp it, pull it up, and if you see a spot you missed, you could put it, you know, reapply it. With, with these, you cannot do that. You never can get it exact. So I will also put a link to this in the comments. I got I got both of this and all my stamps on Amazon. I just love Amazon. <laughs> I know I shouldn't, but I just love Amazon. So I am going to start by taking my card, and you want to see which how you want your um, design. You don't want it upside down, and then you have to open the card backwards. So put it the way you want it. This is going to be my top of my card. So I'm going to put that there. And I'm just going to place a piece of tape to hold it still. Ah, stay there. And you want it straight. You don't want it all wonky. Okay, so now this is on there. It's not going anywhere. You're going to put your stamp on here. And remember, this side is up. Yes, this side is up. So you want this, your design to be up. Okay. What I love about these guys is they have been washed over and over again, and they're still sticky. So you can't, you can't mess that up. Okay, so I want it to be, oh, pretty much like that. So I am going to close this up, and there it is. That's exactly how I want it. Now you can, they have these little daubers. You can put it in your ink and then put it around where you want it on your stamp. But I found just as much luck doing it this way. So, and you kind of have to hold it up, make sure you just get it on. 
like the green part is going to be my leaves. I don't want green roses. I want green leaves. So I'm going to put that there. This one's a little trickier, but I can still get it with the corner of my stamp. And I only have a couple of places where this needs to be. Now there is a, there's a stem right here of a flower. So I'm going to try to get the stem and the leaf. Okay, let's see. How well did I do? Not too bad. Now you can take um, Q-tips, oh, didn't have the words, and clean up around where you didn't want your ink. And you can see, look, I got ink all over the, the plastic here, around the edge. That's okay, because that part's not going to hit your paper. Not a big deal like it would be on the wooden stamp. So let's... And I have two different greens. I'm going to try both on here. I've not tried that yet, so, you know, why don't you wait till a live video and then try that. Let me put my, my pink on. And these stamps, they're not real new. So, um, but they're still working great. I've had them for, oh, geez, a number of years. I had gotten a box of stamps and a box of the inks from a girlfriend of mine. And um, I just didn't have a need for them right then and there. But you know what? I looked at these, and with Christmas coming, you know how I'm about Christmas. I'm thinking of making my own Christmas cards. I am one of the few out there that still sends a lot of Christmas cards. I like to, um, I like to send around 100. So if I can make them myself and start now where I have plenty of time, of course I wouldn't use roses, but they have a lot of really nice Christmas stamps out there. Okay, I'm going to redo some of my green because I got it all pinked. Okay, get some up there. I want to try that second green. It's a light green, so let's see if I can go over. It's, it put some of that dark on there, but that's okay. Okay. This is where the magic happens. Okay, you're just going to push it down. Press right where your design is. Okay. Nothing, uh, nothing too difficult. Open it up. Oh, I love it. Look at that. But I did not get all of it in here. So I am going to ink it a little bit more through here. And redo it. This is the beauty of this because it lines right back up. Okay. Perfect. Oh, I like the two different greens. Look at that. Now you can leave it like this. Or you can color it in with colored pencils or gel pens or acrylic markers. Now, I tried to test this ink after it was dry thoroughly to put a little water on it because I kind of wanted to do watercolors over it, and it smeared. So, let me show you. This is the one I did earlier, and see how that green smeared? But then I coated it with hairspray. Anytime I print anything from my uh, home printer, I always coat it with a layer of hairspray. It sets the ink, and then if it does get wet, it doesn't run. But let me see if it works on this ink. I have a pan of soapy water over here to put my stamps in when I'm done with them because you want to clean them up as quickly as possible. Get my finger a little wet. Nope, see it still runs. See it down there? So I would not try watercolor with this. Good to know, huh? Darn it. Okay, so <laughs> we're whole game plan. We're changing. We're not doing watercolor. But I do have some great gel pens, and I do have some acrylic paints that I could probably put touch-ups on this. Or you can leave it just like this. I mean, I love, I love it each way. Now that I've got my card, though, we got to decorate the envelope. And now make sure the part that you decorate is not the part you got to write on because 
it might interfere with the um, letter getting to its proper place. But if I do the back, and I'm going to close my envelope and just do the back, let me see where that lines up. About right there. Ooh. Now I reused my tape. Okay, and let's stamp it. Let's see what it looks like. I did not put more ink on. I want to see if. It's okay without, and it's sort of okay. It's real light, but it's still really pretty. Let me put a little bit more ink on there. I think doing Christmas cards with a stamp, and I had a really great wooden stamp. It was a Christmas tree, but it was made out of words, and all the words were... Um, pertaining to Jesus, and I, I, it was beautiful. But I have not been able to find that in these rubber stamps. Now, if you have a really big stamp, and of course I do, and I didn't put it out here, I've got some with flowers this big. This is not gonna work, and I don't know if they make this acrylic thing any bigger. I would hope they do, but I did not see it on Amazon, so <laughs> if it's not on Amazon, it doesn't happen. All right, do my dark green. And I have metallics. I have this gold here, treasure gold, woo, and purples and all sorts of, oops, look what I just did. I put green in the middle of my rose. I don't wanna do that. Let's cover that back up. It might give it a little more depth. Maybe I needed to do that. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, I've not done an envelope before, so this I'm pretty excited how this is going to turn out. Oh, wow. Look. Look at this. Here's my envelope. I'm trying to make sure I don't get my sleeves in that. Look at that. I love it. Oh, that's very pretty. Now, if you want, and I think you would have to take the envelope apart and fold it out and do the, in, the inside and then glue it all back together. But you could do the inside to where when you just open up the envelope, all the patterns on the inside. And I think that would be stunning as well. I love this. Let's do a different stamp. You know, where I put that green in the middle and then I put the pink over the top, it did kind of turn a little purple. I love it. Love it. Okay, so just pull it up. And I'm going to put it in my pan of hot soapy water. And then um, get my paper towel a little wet because I want to clean all this off. And you want to get it cleaned off as soon as possible because as soon as that, um, as soon as the ink sets, you're not going to get it off. And you, you don't want your work surface to be all nasty. Okay, my tape. Ooh. Can reuse that tape. Let's stick it right there. Okay, let's do a different one. Um, what do I want to do? Let's get a card. Ugh. Okay, and I'm going to bend it. It has a perforation so it shows you right where to fold it. Okay. And this part is my up part. So I'm gonna put it right here. Try to put it as straight as I can. And that's probably, no, I wouldn't think you put the card on the grid side, but who knows? Okay. Now, how do I want these? I think these are absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna do you want to put it stamp side down because it's got to stick to the lid. Okay, and then do this one here. Let's see. And do another little one. And then there's some leaves. Oops, flip it over. Do some leaves out this way. And one out 
Let's do the shorter one here and the longer one here. All right. Push down. I tell you, this little device here is just a game saver. Hold on a second. I keep getting this notification popping up and it has nothing to do with anything. Hey, Betty, now I can see your comment. It is party, isn't it? I love this. This one's going to be different because uh, I've not done this one before, so I'm excited to see how it's going to turn out. I got junk all over this table. Okay, so if I have purple, let me put my pink away, and I'm going to use the lighter green on this, and I think this one's purple. I think I have a couple of purples. They don't have um, numbers or anything on them, so they might be the same purple. Just two containers of it. So I'm going to do as many flowers. This little design, I kind of have to look at the picture, but it's got or leaves coming up the side. So let's see how much I can get on there without getting the leaves. And I don't know if I would rub like that because I think you're rubbing more off than you're putting on. So let me try this other purple and see if it's the same color. I think it is. Either that or a little bit lighter maybe. And then my lighter green, do my leaves. Now, I have watched a number of videos on how to use this, so it's helped me quite a bit. Thank heavens for YouTube. There is a video about absolutely everything. My husband right now is installing ceiling fans on our lanai, and uh, YouTube videos helped him a lot also. I see spots that I have missed. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Oh, I do love the purple. All right. Huh, this part did not stamp at all. See that? That's why I love this thing. So let's try that again. Whoa. And by using the stamp, the ink this way, I don't have to worry about getting it all over my hands. That helps a lot. All right. Push down, push down. So all my family is at a family reunion today. I'm sad. I want to go. No, it's still not. Why are you not? Maybe I'm not pressing it hard enough. So, yeah, so I'm kind of missing them today, but I hope they have a really good time. Both of my kids, I think, are going. I know my, my son is going, but, oh my gosh, look, I love it. Oh, I love that. That is so pretty. Let me, let me take a look at it. Oh, that's beautiful. Now, I think it needs some leaves other places, so... If I take this and move it over here, at, whoa, stay there. Oops, I got it upside down, that's why. Move it right there and take this one, oh no, and put it right there. Good, now I'm going to ink those. And I did get some ink on me. But I'll live. <laughs> All right. This is actually really relaxing. I think that um, this would be fun to do with a group of girlfriends. You could all make your cards. Now, you could also stamp this on 
just cardstock, cut it out, and raise it up with um, like a piece of little bitty cardboard in between. Glue the flower on top of the flower and make it three dimensional. So make another one of, say, these flowers, cut it out, and then paste it on the top of this one. Just raise it up a little bit to make it look a little 3D. Now I love this, but there's a lot of white space behind there. So let's put some words. And the only words I have were on that rose piece. And it says, birthday wishes, you're so wonderful. <gasps> you're so wonderful. Let's see, how do I want that? I want, you're so wonderful. Maybe right here. Stop it. Okay. Now, what color should your so wonderful be? Let's, oh, let's make it a teal. Oh, that's pretty. I'm going to ink it up real good. Please tell, don't tell me I did it backwards. Watch, I probably did. No, I did it right. <laughs> okay. Now I pull this off. Look at that. You're so wonderful. I know it's backwards. But that's pretty. Now you could really add a whole lot more to this because it's got a lot of white space. You could put a little flower here on the back and then hand write, handmade by me. M-E. <laughs> That's really pretty. I like how that turned out a lot. So in 22 minutes, I have made two cards and an envelope. Let's make an envelope for this little guy. And then I'll let you guys get on your merry way and enjoy your Saturday. So hold on. Ooh. Envelope. Okay. Now, how do I want how do I want my envelope to look? I'm just gonna tape my envelope down. And it looks like I just got tape on my or paint on my envelope, but it's on the tape, so you don't have to worry about it. And I am actually going to put a piece at the bottom. Now I just want some flowers along the edge because I'm going to put my return address and my where it's going address. So maybe just along the side here would be really cool. So let's. I'm just going to lightly. It only put a little on there. You know, and this this little plastic lucite thing, whatever, was not expensive. And you reuse it and reuse it and reuse it. I wish I would have invented the thing. Because, wow, that's pretty cool. All right. That is beautiful. Oh, see, now in my head, because my head just went there, I'm going to get green or red or both beautiful envelopes, and I'm going to do all of this in gold and then spray it with hairspray so it's, it sets for the most part. But do some kind of design, maybe um, a manger scene or something in gold with the star. Oh my gosh! That would be so beautiful. I am so excited. 
I have, I, I don't know if you read on Facebook, I had posted why you really should start thinking about Christmas now. And I know I get a lot of people that they don't want to hear it. They don't want to, they don't want to hear anything about it. I, I get it. I really do because it's, it feels like it's um, rushing the season and, you know, you should enjoy the season that you're in now. And I totally agree with that. But growing up, I grew up with uh, not a lot of money. And we did not have, how do I say this? We did not have um, extravagant Christmases, to say the least. But, and Christmas does not need to be extravagant by any means. But what I'm saying is, uh, my family always tried to do everything at the last minute, and then they were stressed, they were grumpy. And as a kid, nobody was happy at Christmas, and Christmas should be all about happiness. Now, it's not a Hallmark movie, it really isn't, where everybody makes um, gingerbread houses together and does the countdown from 10 to 1 to light the tree, and you know that's in every... Hallmark episode, but you, it should be relaxing, especially if you have small children and they're off for Christmas vacation. That should be a fun time, not everybody at everybody's throat time. So thinking about Christmas now, buying one gift every payday, one gift, and I think I have 10 paydays from now till Christmas. So 10 people if I had 10 people to buy for, which I'm pretty close to it, but 10 people would get really nice presents, really nice presents, not shopping at the last minute with a whole bunch of people and fighting and you know how it is. I like having all my Christmas shopping done early so when Christmas does roll around, we get to go drive around, look at lights. We have one of those outside malls where we go and look at all the, the window decorations and we just have a really good time and it's relaxing and even my baking, all my, my cookie doughs and stuff are frozen. So all I have to do is pull them out at the last minute. Maybe sometimes if friends are over, we can make cookies together. Just all that fun stuff you hear about but never get to do because you're just too tired. And I get it. I totally get it because I work a full-time job also, now my children are grown, but I have children and grandchildren, thank goodness again for Amazon, but, <laughs> um, and, and that's another thing, if you're going to shop online and send it, I would just buy gift cards to yourself right now and have them stocked up so when you go to buy that thing on Amazon or whatever online platform, you have the money there available it just makes it just makes for a much more relaxed and happier holiday so let me finish this envelope and this let me have a drink of coffee mm. public service announcement over <laughs> I'm gonna try a different flower on here because I put the rest of mine in my soapy see my dish pan here full of soapy water so everything's getting clean there. But I'm going to try, I have all these, let's see if I can get it without the lights, different flowers, and I'm going to put those on. Let's see, I want to pull it, oh, these, wow, these haven't been removed yet. Oh, they're on there, good. I'm going to put one there, and I'm putting them stamp side down, one there, and maybe, come on, one here. What are the rest of those? Well, they're just, they're leaves. I don't think I'm gonna do leaves on on this one, but I'm gonna do put another, another flower here maybe. Move those around a little bit. I'm just gonna flower this thing up. Okay. Stamp side down. That's about where I want them. I don't know if you can see right there. And then I'm going to close that up. Oh, I didn't didn't clean the ink off, so hopefully I don't get that on my 
Nope, I didn't. Whew. You kind of want to clean that off first. Do as I say, not as I do. Because, wow. All right, so I got a blue one. I have this pretty yellow. Oh, I think that's going to show up well. I didn't think it was that well inked. Some of these, I think, are a little dried up. Yeah, like, like that one. I, I don't... Uh, it is around the edges, but I don't think that's one I want to try. So I have, it's more of an aqua, a yellow. Let's do this. Ooh, dark red. Oh, oh love it. And purple. Go ahead, purple. This would be more of a get well card, something happy on it. Congratulations card. I'm so thankful for you card. Let's see, let's try this one. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's like a navy blue. Okay. All right. And I'm gonna close it up. Oops, I just connected it, hold on. How'd I do that? That must have been that snap I heard. Come on. Oh, are you kidding me? Maybe I have to do it this way. No, it's not broken. It's just not snapped on. There. Save myself. <laughs> okay. Oh, guys, I love that. Oh, you know what? This purple one still needs a little bit more pressure on it. Let's just purple it up some more. I really think using this Lucite piece is such a game changer because you can reapply and reapply. Oh, way better. I love that. <laughs> very cute, very happy card. And then that is on the other side. Nice. Well, in 30 minutes, half hour, we did this card. Oh, and this card. And then we did their matching envelopes. This one, which I still think it needs like a little rose in the front. And this one, both sides. So imagine if you just did a whole bunch of the same kind, you could just pop these out like nobody's business. I love it. And you know what? I might, this is a great idea. What if you made a bunch of cards all for a different reason? Uh, a thank you card, a sympathy card, a get well card, a birthday card, maybe five or six different cards, put them um, together, wrap them with a beautiful ribbon and maybe a sprig of lavender and give them to your girlfriends for Christmas as a gift. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love it. There's so many, so many ideas that I got going on here. But I think, I think these are, are going to be beautiful. <laughs> you love it. I love it. That's gorgeous. Well, if you like this project, if you enjoyed watching this and you want to see more of my, my videos, um, hit the little follow at the top. If you're already following me, I am so happy that you're here. I'm loving this journey and I'm really loving doing crafts and DIY stuff for your home. Check my blog out, Inspire Me Too, the number two, inspiremetodiy.com. And check out how I've decorated for summer. You can still see i got a bunch of it behind me. But it's all going away within the next week or so because fall's a coming. And I love decorating for fall. All the oranges and yellows and reds. I think it's going to be beautiful. So enjoy your Saturday. And if you're my family at the reunion, enjoy your reunion. I miss you. And um, hopefully I'll get to see you soon. If we, if we get to make a trip out there. Thank you so much for watching and have a great Saturday. Bye.